Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 13 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter Build. Firstly, I'd like to thank those that have subscribed. You're awesome. I've just hit 200 subscribers. Whoop whoop. So, let's crack on with the build. To begin with, I'm going to finish off deckling the VIP pod. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and get deckling at high speed. Engage. That's one end finished. As you can see, this end decided to bat on it all the way. But, Veni Vidi Vulci, yes I know it should be Veni Vidi Vici. But if you've ever played a certain flight sim, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, this section is five minutes long, so let me explain the last comment. Veni Vidi Vulci. I used to play Aces High, a World War II flight sim, and I was pretty good at it. I flew with 71 Eagle Squadron. Anyway, if we manage to cap an enemy airfield, that's kill all the anti-aircraft guns around it and allowing us to fly around without being hurt, we could kill the planes on the runway. That's called vulching. So, the name... Benny Vidi Vulci came about. True story, that.
So that's a VIP pod decal. Here, I'm just putting the top brace on to see what it looks like. I like it. I broke some of the black decals. They are very thin, so be careful. Here, I'm just touching them up with some black paint and adding some dots to the modules. When I attached the rockets to the rear module, there were some gaps left, so here I'm just filling those. I'm using super glue to fill them. As you can see here, I added too much super glue on there and when I sprayed the accelerator it bubbled it up. Gonna have to sort that cock up out, aren't I? That's done. Now to just add some Mr Hobby dissolved putty to fill some of the other gaps. Right, that's the rear module done. Now for the front module. Now the decks are cleared and they're put to one side. Let's have a look at the base. I want it slightly raised from the frame, so I glued the backing board to the front of the frame and then masked the rest of the frame off. What I'm doing now is marking out where I want the eagle in pencil. Then I will put three decent coats of PVA glue to seal the wood and to give a good surface for the paint to adhere to. Right, there's the first layer done. Let's put that to one side to dry. We'll come back to that once I've done the other two layers, so you can see what I mean. After trolling the internet, I found this picture of a landing pad. This I'm going to try to emulate on the base. I would also like to light it, but it depends if there's enough room. And I'm thinking of added, you know that thing that goes in and out so the passengers can get off? What the hell do you call it? But I'm going to put one of those in, hopefully. If you know what it is, Pop it in the comments below. Now it's time to gloss the eagle ready for her weathering. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. I also did some touch-up work on the rear module too. Now for some weathering. I'll be using oils for this and I'll go through each part as I do it. I'm using black, brown and blue in equal amounts
all diluted with white spirits. First I'm going to put some white spirits into this metal tray using a uh, pipette and then pop the oils in there and mix them all together. Oops, wrong brown. I hadn't even opened this one. It was a darker brown that I'm using. Let me just grab it. There we go, all mixed together and ready to chuck on the eagle. So, let's have some fun weathering. Engage the speedy uppy thing. So there we go, all done and cleaned up after myself, uh, not quite, oh forgot the top bra, oh for good god, okay let's make some more oils and get that piece done. There we go, that bit's done. Now to leave them all to dry. This seems like a good place to stop. So remember, please, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.